These are the dynamic movements of Shirinji Kempo. Its highly effective style and tremendous range of techniques never fail to impress anyone who comes into contact with this art. But this is not its only strong point. Shirinji Kempo's Zen philosophy and traditional attitude to martial arts training are as important to its practitioners as its powerful and graceful movements. The level of skill seen here demands not only total dedication and concentration, but a strong cooperative spirit. Since its birth in 1947, Shirinji Kempo has become the single most popular martial art in Japan, with a global membership of 1.5 million in 24 countries. Kihon means basic training. After first warming up and stretching, all students, regardless of rank, practice basic techniques together to maintain and improve their form. Since all commands and techniques are in Japanese, students may practice anywhere in the world without language barrier. A normal training session in Shirinji Kempo, like this one in London, will look very similar anywhere in the world. The black gown, called hoi, can be worn by senior students and is the traditional dress of Buddhist monks. Students practice an average of three years to attain their black belt or first dan. On attaining their third dan, a student may apply for a license to open their own dojo or club. All its techniques rely on skill and application rather than brute force. After single form training, students practice in pairs in order to gain the experience of applying their techniques on a real opponent. Pair form practice is non-competitive and therefore fosters mutual cooperation and respect as partners continually swap the roles of attack and defense. This training method ensures that students develop as partners and help each other overcome the difficulties of mastering the art. But Shirinji Kempo's central purpose is not merely to train people in unarmed combat. Fitness, self-defense and spiritual development are the three main benefits of training and instill students with the strength and confidence to live a healthy and meaningful life. Jutsu Kamoku, or technical training, follows on from basic training. Students divide into groups according to grade and practice the techniques on their syllabus. These consist of both hard and soft techniques, called Goho and Juho. Juho is the soft or passive system of techniques, used when in contact with an opponent. By breaking the opponent's balance, it is possible to gain control of the situation and to throw and pin an attacker, or simply escape from the hold. Goho is the hard or positive system, used to defend or overwhelm an opponent, involving dodges, blocks, deflections, kicks and punches. At each level the syllabus requires a balanced combination of both Goho and Juho, hard and soft. At advanced level, the two systems are used hand in hand. This feature of Shirinji Kampo creates a unique, all-round system of self-defense comprising over 600 techniques. The defender here steps inside the arc of a chop to the head, cutting the distance and delivering a series of counter blows. After this cross-handed grab, the attacker is made to lose his balance. 
he can then be thrown and once on the ground be securely controlled. Here the defender blocks and counterattacks before creating an arm lock by folding the opponent's wrist and forearm inside his own. The lock is extremely painful giving the defender total control over his opponent. Both the technique and the spirit of Shirinji Kempo are encapsulated in Embu practice. These are sets of movements which the two partners have put together themselves from their vast training menu. It takes much patience and hard work before students are able to perform their Embu at full speed. Partners constantly change roles of attack and defense, thereby being able to evaluate their own respective skills. As Shirinji Kempo is non-competitive, Embu is fundamentally a form of cooperative practice and mutual development. The techniques are absolutely effective and realistic, but while they may look dangerous, great care is taken in training to avoid injury. Movements are built up slowly. Speed is increased gradually as partners gain confidence and trust until they can finally move intuitively at full speed. This allows the performance to flow freely and techniques are executed with tremendous power. During an Embu performance, mental composure and concentration are as important as physical expertise. A whole Embu can last between one and a half and two minutes and may contain up to six separate sections. These should include a balance of Goho and Juho techniques and represent the full diversity of Shirinji Kempo. During Chinkong practice, students recite the Shirinji Kempo Pledge and Creed, which is based on ancient Buddhist scriptures. Students promise to be self-reliant and truthful, to act honorably, to cooperate, help each other, and work towards building a peaceful society. Zazen, or seated meditation, is an essential aspect of training and cannot be separated from technical practice. Correct posture and breathing control are as important in Zazen meditation as in movement, but here students can concentrate exclusively on calming the mind and developing mental composure. To develop the strength and courage to confront challenges and to be competent under stress, students must develop both physically and spiritually. Hoa, or studying philosophy, is another intrinsic aspect of training. Shirinji Kempo philosophy is based on the fact that strength without compassion leads to violence, whereas compassion and love without the strength to back it up is weak and ineffective. A better society can only be brought about by people with a sense of justice, who are compassionate and have the strength and resolution to apply their ideals to daily life. Shirinji Kempo is nothing but the training method to achieve this goal. Just last moment, a little bit extra pull, yeah? 
SEHO is a method long used in the East to regulate bones, nerves and circulation, and by doing so to promote health. Some of these pressure techniques are similar to those used in Shiatsu. SEHO is usually applied after Kempo practice to vital points of the body, to relax the muscles, relieve tension and regulate circulation. Fatigue and strained muscles are relieved and fresh energy is restored. Students also learn to treat dislocations, realign vertebrae, as well as various emergency techniques, from simple nosebleeds to resuscitation. To the whole head, this part of the whole head. Although these techniques look simple, it is important to practice regularly to determine the exact location of these pressure points as well as developing sensitivity and intuition. This particular technique relieves lower backache by realigning the lumbar vertebrae. Bigger and deeper. Hold here and push the hip that way, shoulder to go that way. Okay. Knowing how much pressure to apply and for how long does not come easy. Furthermore, it is important not to rely on the strength of one's arms, but to use the whole body. As with all Shirinji Kempo techniques, correct posture and breathing are prerequisites to developing good technique. In this manner, students again learn how to help rather than hurt each other. This form, demonstrated here by Sensei Mizuno, chief instructor of Great Britain, is the second in the Tenshiken series. New movements, both attacking and defensive, are introduced and give the student a progressively wider range of techniques to practice. Although there are no championships in Shirinji Kempo, students practice free fighting in class. This is an important aspect of training since Randori teaches students to improvise and improve their ability to react swiftly and effectively to different types of attack. Referees ensure that proper safety is maintained and decide on who has scored a point. Whilst there are no medals to be won, success or failure to protect oneself in free fighting practice are key experiences to learn from. Randori is necessary for any student wanting to master Shirinji Kempo techniques. Anybody, any age, sex, race, whatever, you know, Kempo is a martial art for everybody. And you see, one of the main differences is when we train together with our partners, we're not in competition, we train in cooperation. So this prevents injury and adds to the enjoyment um, of Syringe Kempo. It also ensures that, you know, it's not just you as an individual that develop, but yourself, the people you train with, the partner, you know, it's basically developing cooperation. So, you know, it's a martial art for every single person. I'd encourage everybody to join Syringe Kempo.